Yo, what is going on guys? I'm Mac here, back for another video. And in this video, I'm going to be ranking every single vehicle that has ever been in Fortnite. We've had a total of 9 vehicles so far in Fortnite, and obviously some are way more popular than others, not looking at the brute in any way, um, but this list isn't like the most powerful vehicles to least powerful, because um, obviously the brute would be at number 1 because it's so overpowered, it feels that this is a list of like the most skilled vehicles and like the ones people like the most, just in general, and like what's the best vehicle, so it's not like about power or anything, obviously that's why the brute's going to be number 9, spoiler alert, I'm sorry, the brute is last on the list, um, but yeah, it's just about skill and overall what players like for vehicles, so let's get right into the list. Coming in at the number 9 spot is the Brute, and I'm really not going to spend much time on this one, just because everyone hates the Brute, like, I don't even need to talk about it, you guys know, you guys already understand how bad this vehicle is, just, you're just chilling in duos with your friends, in squads, whatever it is, you're just trying to get that number 1 victory royale, then you see a mech come out of nowhere, and delete your whole squad, I don't even need to talk about it any longer, I've talked about it too long already, let's just move on, because this, this, the mech is just so bad. Coming in at the number 8 spot is the shopping cart, and the shopping cart was the first actual vehicle ever added to Fortnite, although it isn't really a vehicle at all. Once Epic started to add real vehicles to the game, the shopping cart was pretty much useless and deleted from the game. The shopping cart made downhill mobility a bit easier, but not too much outside of that. It was good for the memes, and no one really used it, like, no one really used it, like, in, like, actual pro games. I mean, there wasn't really pro games when it was in, but still, like, no one used it to get dubs or anything, it was just for memes and stuff like that, but yeah, that's why it's here at the number 8 spot. Coming in at the number 7th spot is the Cannon, and like the shopping cart, the Cannon wasn't much of a real vehicle. You would just like ride around for memes just like the Cannon, and you know, it was really good because you could fly in it, and you could get air and stuff like that. Personally, what I used it for was when you like land on the ship, I don't know if you guys remember, if you guys played back in uh, Chapter 1, I'm sure most of you would play back in Chapter 1, um, but you would land on the big ship, the pirate ship, and then you would see people over the other side of the water, so you would literally just jump in the Cannon and shoot yourself over, and like you get there fast and take them out. That's personally what I used it for, and I really found it fun for that. Apart from that, it wasn't really good. People used it to get hype. There was kind of a glitch you could do to get hype with it back in the day. Um, but yeah, apart from memes, just like the shopping cart, it wasn't really useful as an actual vehicle. So that's why it is here at the number 7th spot. Coming in at the number 6th spot is planes. And planes were one of the most controversial additions to Fortnite, behind the mechs of course. They were incredibly overpowered when Epic first introduced them, but eventually they received a nerf. The nerf balanced them out a bit, but they were always a menace in competitive Fortnite. Adding plates could work if they just like got rid of the boost and like shooting so much. Um, maybe shoot a little bit, not just not as much as they were able to shoot. And definitely, yeah, nerfing the boost a lot. Um, one of the biggest bugs that happened with planes was when you would pull out your glider. Your glider wouldn't actually pull out. So if you use planes back in season seven, when you want to eject out of the plane, you just press the eject button and you, your glider would instantly deploy, so you could land on the ground safely and take out the enemies. But there was a glitch that was stopping people from doing this. So basically, when you would eject from the plane, you would just drop and you wouldn't be able to deploy your glider and you would die full damage, which was, which was crazy. And yeah, that's why it's at the number 6 spot. Coming in at the number 5th spot is Ballers, and Ballers replaced Planes as the next overpowered vehicle in Fortnite. They had too much HP upon release and were difficult to counter for a long time. They received a HP nerf, which helped stop their usefulness, but there always seemed to be 15 to 20 of them hopping around in competitive endgames. Coming in at the number 4th spot is Boats, and the boat is among the most balanced vehicles that Epic has ever added to Fortnite. It's a rotational item first and foremost. The rockets do next to nothing in terms of player damage and anyone standing on the back is asking to get shot. That being said, the boats are a bit lackluster. They aren't truly effective on land and can get tripped up by a small hill or obstruction. Personally, I think boats are a great addition to the game because they're just so well to get around in water and seeing as there's so much water in Chapter 2, it's just so perfect and they're not overpowered like a lot of other vehicles we've seen in Fortnite. Coming in at the number 3 spot is every trickshotter's best friend, the Driftboard. These hoverboards provided excellent mobility and even better clips. This was one of the most ambitious items that Epic ever added and they really pulled it off. I don't think anyone could argue the driftboards were overpowered, they were mobility only items and they weren't used for anything other than clips and mobility. I personally really like driftboards, yeah they were just so good to get around and you know, heavy snipe and driftboard you can't go wrong and you know that's why they're at number 3. Coming in at the number 2 spot is the Quad Crasher. And for me I really liked the Quad Crasher. It was one of the best vehicles in the game, especially once players started to learn how to make it fly. You could traverse the entire map if you were consistent enough, making no zone too far away to reach. Was this the most balanced vehicle in Fortnite? What do you guys think about that? I really think it is. Um, personally, it was one of my favorites because there was no weird shooting thing. You could just randomly shoot players and like die like the mech. And it was just so balanced and, you know, not too overpowered and just great for getting to zones and things like that. So yeah, comment below which one's your favorite and which one you think is the most balanced. But personally, I really think it is the Quad Crasher. Coming in at the number one spot is, drumroll please, the ATK. 
and the ATK is at the number one spot because of how balanced it is. It is definitely one of the most balanced vehicles in the game. Definitely the most balanced because it's just, it's just like, it's even more balanced than the Quad Crasher. I literally just said the Quad Crasher was super balanced and probably one of my favorite items. And it is still my favorite item. I like it better than the ATK. But the ATK or golf cart, whichever you prefer to call it, just takes the number one spot because it, it is even more balanced because with the Quad Crasher, you could literally send a player flying and kill them if you like charge at them. With this one, you couldn't even do that. It was just great for mobility. And a good thing about this one it is it was much quieter than the Quad Crasher. So you get like to place without people hearing you. The Quad Crasher is so loud and everyone knows when there's one around because you can just hear it. But yeah, that is why this is at the number one spot. And that pretty much completes the list. So if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at iMac Studios. And hopefully I can see you in another video. Goodbye.